Alright, this is Jared Hanks trying again to uh, do my report for uh, math. I'm doing it on a rangeline management specialist. Um, this is all filmed on my GoPro, so I hope it turns out okay. Um, I chose this because I'm really interested in the outdoors. I've worked several different jobs out there. Um, you know, I've worked my way around just to see what I liked, and this is kind of what I fell in love with, so... Um, minimum qualifications, you need a four-year degree in rangeland science um, or something similar, um, but typically your rangeland science degree is going to be your best option into getting a job. Um, and then you need one year of on-the-job experience in a, re in a related field. Um, that can be with BLM, Forest Service, uh, DWR, any of those. Um, and depending on where you work, you just need a thorough understanding of the different range rangeland types, not just the one major one you're working on. So, all right, um, your day-to-day -day duties, it really depends on what funding you have and like what your, your current project is, um, but you're pretty much developing an overall ecosystem, um, you know, trying to balance out plants, animals, and, you know, human interaction. Um, they also advise landowners on what they do, what they need to do to rehabilitate their places, um, you know, keep deer out, whatever it's going to take that they need. Um, they evaluate the competition between browsers and grazers, which is your cows and horses versus like your elk and deer. Um, they conduct inventories of rangeland, um, monitor the overall health of the rangeland to determine like what's being utilized, um, what could use some work if they need to do some rehabilitation, things like that. Um, and then they prepare and review an environmental analysis report based on the overall health of the rangeland and what they find. Um, some things that are going to set me apart and help me get employed is I am certified in the forklift. Um, I'm a certified pesticide applicator so I can spray weeds, pesticide, pests, or anything like that. Um, I'm a welder. I'm mechanically inclined. Um, I can usually work on things out in the field that most others can't. Um, I can operate all major equipment. Um, and I also have seasonal experience with the DWR. Um, there is a lot of math used with this degree, but it's kind of more of your general multiplication and division. Um, you're, you know, you're trying to find out how much you know land you have, um, and then you're using percentages to get like your utilization rates, um, percent of what plants compared to others, things like that. So you do need to have a very good base understanding. Um, there is 42 required semester hours that you need. Um, you need at least 18 of those in um, range management. That could be like your principles of range management, um, range ecology, things like that. Um, you need directly related plant, animal, and soil sciences. Um, that's 15 semester hours, um, which is going to be like your plant ecology, animal ecology, things like that. Um, and then resource management studies. That's going to be like um, your outdoor recreation management classes, um, things like that. And you only need nine semester hours of those. So it's going to take at least four years of schooling. That's the minimum, and that's if you don't fail classes. Um, with me, I'm going to have four years of seasonal working, so you know that's going to be my one year of related experience. Um, and then you get six months on-the-job training, depending on the area you go to so that the office will advise you on how they want things done. Um, the cost of schooling, it's roughly $8,000 for my associates here at Snow. Um, that's living at home rent free, but paying for my own food, insurance, and things like that. Um, and then finishing up my bachelor's at USU is going to be about $30,000 with housing, mills, tuition, you know, all the fees you can really expect. That's a little bit high, but um, you know, it's better to overshoot than undershoot. Um, and then if I wanted to, I'm still undecided about staying here. Um, but that can be, you know, cut down quite a bit by going to the extension here. Um, and that's going to give you your base degree right there. Um, how I'm paying for it is I'm currently working um, seasonally for the Division of Wildlife. Um, I'm making about $11,000 per my seasonal year. Um, half of that goes directly to school, and then I also work a part-time job during the spring, summer, and early fall. Um, 
that contributes basically to my book and my books and fees um, for for schooling. Um, everything's coming out of pocket. I do not get any FAFSA, so it is you know out of my pocket or student loans. Um, my backup plan is to take a year off and just save up money as I'm working full time um, if I really need to uh, go that route. Your salary really depends on the area. Um, typical starting salary though is about $48,000 a year. Um, you know, it really depends on the area just because, you know, here we're a little bit less than most areas. Um, where as far as like Washington, Oregon, they're a little bit more starting out. Um, and then if you get about five to 10 years experience, move around a little bit, go to different places, you can make about 90,000 a year. Um, that brings your average salary about sixty-five thousand, um, and then I also work the side job as a laborer. Get sixteen dollars an hour, gives me about thirty-two hundred dollars per year, which is pretty much kind of my set-aside play money type stuff. Uh, my budget is based off of me being single. Um, I just want to live out of a trailer. That way, I'm not renting. I'm you know putting that money into owning something. Um, and also it's going to be a toy hauler so I can actually put my vehicle, you know, my dirt bikes, four wheelers, whatever, inside and keep them out of the weather. Um, my insurance is about 150 a month. That's driving older vehicles. It's mostly covering the RV. Um, food is about $200 a month. Uh, financial aid payment, it's really only 50 but, you know, pay double goes way quicker. Um, gas and diesel is pretty expensive because pulling my trailer with the diesel, um, and then gas for running my generator, things like that, is going to be about 400 a month. Um, my project and play money, I think it's important to have that, um, you know, put away so you can, you can do fun things. Otherwise it just gets boring. So that's going to be about 500 a month. That fluctuates depending on if it's a good month or bad month. Um, about $2,000 a month I can survive without <laughs> really flourishing, but that'll help me to save up to build a house later down the road. Um, and all of this is basically staying on my dad's insurance till I'm 26, driving older vehicles, no, no payments like that, um, and then building equity rather than renting. Obviously, you always have unexpected expenses, uh, car troubles, family, you know, things like that. Um, so it's good to put money away for that. Um, I plan on putting about $200 a month away into a separate account just for these emergencies um, so that when it does happen, you know, it won't be such a big deal. Um, investing in gold, silver, and other precious metals like that is really useful um, just because it does, I mean, you know, they may fluctuate a little bit, but they're not going to lose their value. Um, and if everything hits the fan, you know, you always have something to trade with. So I think that's very important. Um, I pretty much got all my info from Walter E. Hanks. He's my grandpa. He's a retired forest ranger with 35 years of experience. Um, he also has his range degree from USU. Um, I got obviously all my tuition um, and classes from Utah State University website. Um, and then I got a little bit of class info from opm.gov and rangelandswest.org. And that's pretty much all I have. Thank you.